All right, so here's our brand new day one Nintendo Switch. Let's open her up. Oh yeah. I am so excited right now, I am actually shaking. You see right away, your new Nintendo Switch, and you got your left and right Joy-Cons. On the bottom, three steps on how to set it up. Plug it in, set it up, turn it off. Real simple. Let's dig in. So, lift this out, we'll get to that in just a second. Inside the box, got your health and safety information. Then, digging in a little bit more here. Here is our Joy-Con grip. Very stylish and sleek. I like the size of it. It fits really well in the hand. It's gonna look really nice. Standard HDMI cable. Power cable using USB-C. That's really nice. No more proprietary chargers anymore. What else we got? And our docking station. There we go. Really simplistic setup, actually. You drop this back door off of here, you can see your USB, your HDMI out, and your AC adapter, your USB to AC adapter. All slides in nice and easy, a little cord spot there. She's gonna dock right in the top. Got our Joy-Con grips, get rid of those for now. Let's get this out of the way for a little bit. Right. Now let's get to the good stuff. Let's start with the grips. All right, joy cons. These feel amazing in the hand. Very clicky. The buttons are not like your standard controller. You're like your Xbox or your PS4 controllers. These are very clicky, just like a mechanical keyboard, pretty much. Everything feels really nice in the hand at the moment. Well, the other one, very similar. However, this one does have the IR blaster on the bottom. Got your plus sign on this one. This is your right hand, your left hand. You can hold these just like so, and it'll let you work your games as normal. Now the Playmaker. Oh, this is exciting. The brand new Nintendo Switch. Overall, very sleek design. It feels very tablet-like, but a little heavier. Um, and it feels more a little bit more bulky, but I think once I get the Joy-Cons in it, it's gonna feel really nice. Kickstand on the back. Feels a little flimsy, but I like it. Uh, you know it's gonna stay kicked out. Um, micro SD slot down on the bottom there for your extra storage. Comes with 32 gig storage off the bat, but you can put more in there after that. Your game cards, because we're not using discs anymore, go on the top there. Get your power and volume buttons, and a headphone jack. Already better than an iPhone 7. Let's slide these Joy-Cons in here. Oh, that is a good sound. That's just a very satisfying sound. Let's get the other one in there. That feels good. So you're seeing it here first, guys. We got brand new console. You can get it power up right away. There she is. So, it'll be really nice once we get it all set up. We can put it right in the dock here. Oh, nice little welcome screen right there. That's a pretty sound. This is exciting. Oh, and then you got your set screen. So we'll see how easy it is to dock it in this docking station here. Just drop it right in. Wow. That was easy. Doesn't really move around that much. Yep, looks like everything's good to go. It's not plugged into a TV at the moment, so the display is not going to go off at the moment. But once we have it hooked up to the TV, obviously it'll change. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the Pro Controller. Let's switch on over to that. Yeah, that was a pun. Alright, so the Pro Controller is in addition to the Switch. Um, it costs about $70, right? Alright. So this is going to give you more of your typical game controller, um, similar to your Xbox or your PS4 controller. However, do keep in mind that the X and Y buttons are switched, and it makes it a little bit different. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to, no more than 20 minutes playing on the Switch will get it right. Let's see what we got here. 
So we got USB-C cable again, USB-C to USB-A for charging. Nice, that's really nice thought. Pop this open here. And this is our new Pro Gaming controller. Yep, this is also, this shows that you can plug this into your computer as well, and it'll still work just like any other controller, so it's great for PC gaming as well. Um, overall, the buttons feel a lot more like a legacy controller. These buttons are not near as clicky, but they do feel like your traditional controller. Um, the sticks feel just like any other controller. I can see this being a very nice, comfortable playing, such as Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I can see a lot of people be preferring this over your standard Joy-Cons. Right. Speaking of Legend of Zelda, we did pick up two games. We did pick up Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because that goes without saying, it's their latest and greatest. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this in a couple minutes. I can't wait. And then I also picked up 1-2 Switch because this is also one that was really big at their Chicago conference. If you haven't seen that, check the card above me. We can check on that later. Um, this is, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for co-op play, so I figured I'd pick it up right away as well. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. 